Olive was on board a spaceship. She was wearing a silver top and a sweatband around her head. But Cake, that's an amazing view. Just then, the spaceship began to shake. Whoa, what's happening? A door slid open to reveal a man leaping up and down so much it was making the whole room shake. Hey up, two, three, and down, two, three. Pump it up, two, three. Fitness fans, come on! All the shaking made it hard for Olive to stay on her feet. Where? I'm Olive. What's with all the leaping about? The man stopped, and the shaking did too. Whoa, you proper made me jump then, Olive. I'm Captain Smirk, and this is the Starship Exercise on its five year mission to seek out and exercise new civilizations, to boldly go where no aerobics class has gone before. Suddenly, the spaceship lurched from side to side, sending both Olive and Captain Smirk tumbling all over the place. Whoa, what's going on now? Oh no, look over there. Captain Smirk pointed out of the window towards a line of gigantic custard pies spinning through space towards them. Enemy custard pies approaching at warp speed. Custard pies? Mmm, tasty. Those aren't for eating, you dingbat. They're attacking us. Hold on to your feathers, Olive. The captain pulled on a lever, tilting the spaceship this way and that, narrowly avoiding the spinning pies. You did it, Captain. Yeah, for now. Computer, show me the source of those pies. Affirmative. Why would that donut throw giant custard pies at us? Dunno, but I'm not going to hang around to find out. The captain pulled on the lever once again. The engines whirred as they powered up. Then... Egg! Captain, I think we have a problem. You're not wrong. The engines are clogged up with pie. We can't move. And that donut is closing in on us. Maybe we could contact the donut and explain that we're friendly. Computer, make donut contact. Affirmative. <laughs> What are they saying? I haven't got the foggiest, but what I do know is we have to get out of here fast. Hmm. A pie-clogged engine, a keep fit routine that makes a ship shake. I think I may have an idea. Quick, exercise. We need to unblock those engines. Please. Soon all the bouncing started to shake free the pie that was clogging up the engines. Hey, up Olivia brain box, it's working. But the donut was still closing in on them. Come on, Captain. Double time. Leap up, two, three, and down, two, three. Up, two, three, and down, The captain three. leapt up and down with Olive, and finally their bouncing shook the pie out of the ship's engines, and they roared back to life. <sighs> we did it. Well done, Olive. Let's get out of here. No, wait. Look. The space donut was now close enough to see into the control room. The walls were covered in pictures of Captain Smirk. And there was an alien on the command deck performing keep fit moves. He was obviously a huge fan. The alien captain just wants to join your keep fit class. So I throw pies at us. Suddenly, the alien teleported himself onto the ship, appearing between Olive and the captain. Hello there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying hello. Oh. Oh. Yummy. They all laughed, and as they did, <laughs> Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay, actually, I had a keep fit workout in space. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Olive found herself in a busy Bangkok market filled with stores Ooh. selling everything from dragon puppets to silk cushions to coconut ice cream in buns. Olive was wearing a bright scarf, sandals and a wide straw hat. Cake, what a lively place! A small three-wheeled vehicle drove up and stopped near Olive. Inside, there was a driver and a woman wearing sunglasses sitting in the back. The woman peered out. How much for that dragon puppet, please? Olive looked around at the dragon puppet on a nearby stall. Um, I don't know. Sorry. I'm Olive. Oh, sorry, Olive. I thought you were a stall holder. My name is Katya, and I'm on holiday here in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm in a hurry to buy lots of souvenirs before my flight leaves for home. Maybe I can help you, Katya. Oh, yes, please. That would be wonderful. They are all for my family and friends, you see. Katya handed some money to the actual stall holder, and Olive picked out one of the colourful dragon puppets. Oh, 
Okay. What else do you need to buy, Catcher? Here's my shopping list, Olive. We can travel around the market in this tuk-tuk. Catcher handed Olive a very oh. long list. Um, okay, next on the list, a surfboard. Olive hopped aboard the tuk-tuk and they were off, zooming through the busy market streets until the driver came to a stop at a stall selling surfboards. Ah, is that one, please? Okay, that's a big one. Olive struggled to lift the surfboard onto the tuk-tuk. OK, what's next? A big box of battery fans. Olive and Katya were driven all around the market, collecting every souvenir on the list. Thank you very much. Oh, phew, this does not work. Next, four pairs of Thai boxing gloves. A couple of giant inflatable sharks. And finally, some rolls of colourful silk. Now everything had been bought, Katya was keen to get to the airport to make her flight home. My flight leaves soon. To the airport, please, driver. But now the truck truck was so heavy with all the shopping, the driver could not get it to move. Cake, what are we going to do? I don't know, Olive. I can't leave the souvenirs behind. Olive looked over to the airport across the bay and noticed the little boats on the water. Then she looked at the pile of souvenirs. Hmm, a surfboard, some inflatable sharks, a box of fans. I think I may have an idea. Instead of wheels, maybe we can use wind. Wind? What do you mean, Olive? Watch this. Olive strapped the surfboard under the tuk-tuk's front wheel and stuck the inflatable sharks to its sides and then attached all the fans to the back, turning all of them on at once. Hold on, everyone. Suddenly, the tuk-tuk zoomed forward, off the road and into the water. Oh, here we go! Soon, the little tuk-tuk was bumping along over the water and heading for the airport on the far shore. Thank you, Olive. Just in time for my flight, too. Happy to help, Katya. Maybe you can take this tuk-tuk back to the market and shop for souvenirs, too. Oh, thanks, but I'm pretty tired after all that shopping. I think it's probably time I tuk tuk myself home as well. <laughs> they both laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. But Kek, actually, I've been doing some serious shopping in Bangkok. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs>